CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a security camera Zinc NVR and cameras from CCTV Camera World to record to Dropbox, which is a cloud storage or a cloud file storage server, for free without monthly charges. So first, you're going to need a Dropbox account. Here in this Google Chrome web browser, I already have a Dropbox account and I'm logged into the account. And I can see that for free, I have two gigabytes of storage on this account. Next, you're going to need to get to the web interface of your NVR. You're going to need to know what its local IP address is within your network. In order to do that, you can either go to your NVR and go into the network settings to find the IP address or download and use the SCI or Security Camera Zinc config tool from our website. Here I can see I have a 16 channel NVR and it's at 192.168.1.201. I can either click this link or type it into the web browser directly. So 192.168.1.201 and hit enter on my keyboard. Now that I'm at the home page, I need to log into my NVR using the username and password. This username and password can be found on a label on the top of your NVR and or on a green pamphlet that should be included with your NVR. And that's the password you're going to want to use and enter into the web interface to log into the NVR to set up cloud recording. So I'm clicking the login button. Here I have a single camera connected to my NVR and it's streaming video. In order to set up cloud recording, I need to go to the remote setting tab at the top right hand side of the web interface. And then first I need to make sure that I enable motion detection cloud recording. To do that I'm going to go under alarm and then the motion tab or option. In here I can see that cloud picture is enabled by default and I need to enable the cloud video option. So this is telling the NVR that when a motion detection event occurs to record channel one to the cloud for video and for picture. So now I need to click the save button to make sure that these settings are enabled. Next, I need to actually pair the NVR with my Dropbox account. And I can do that by going under storage and then cloud. First, I need to enable cloud storage. And then the default cloud type option is Dropbox. We also have another guide and video for Google Drive if you're interested in using your Google Drive account instead. But I am choosing the Dropbox option. The cloud status is unactivated because I haven't paired my NVR with my Dropbox account yet. Under the cloud overwrite setting, we have automatic mode, which means when that fills up your storage, whether or not you have a paid Dropbox account, or you're using the free two gigabytes that Dropbox offers you. When that two gigabytes fills up, the automatic mode will automatically delete and overwrite the oldest files using the NVR. In other words, the NVR will work with the Dropbox storage to automatically manage those old files. Or you can choose a number of days for the NVR to try and maintain the footage for before it automatically deletes the old files. You have those ranging from one day all the way to 30 and 90 days, which would be a month or three months. If you're only using the free two gigabytes, you likely only get, you know, uh, probably anywhere from three to five days of motion detection recording using the substream that the NVR uploads. So if you're interested in getting more, then you'll of course want to use one of Dropbox paid plans. But you do get the two gigabytes for free, and that's useful enough for most people of, like I said, you know, three to five days of motion detection recordings. You'll have it there to review. Next is the video type. You can use MP4, AVI, or RF. We recommend leaving it on the default MP4, which is the most common video file. It works with most devices and most media players on computers. Next would be the drive name. This is essentially the folder name that you want the folder to be named within your Dropbox account. Here the default is CH1. For the sake of showing that you can change it, I'm going to set it to camera one and click save. Now that we've customized our cloud storage settings and enabled cloud storage for Dropbox, we need to actually activate and pair our Dropbox account 
with the NVR to begin recording to the Dropbox. So we need to click the Activate Cloud button. What this is going to do is actually open up a new window to Dropbox. But since I already have this enabled or open in my Google Chrome browser, I'm going to open up my other browser. I've copied. I'm going to double click and copy this URL and then go into Google Chrome. Double click on the address bar, right click and click paste and go to. So what this is going to do is actually open up the Dropbox activation page in my Google Chrome browser where I'm already logged into my Dropbox account. Of course, you may be doing this in the same browser anyway, but I just wanted to show you that you can copy and paste that URL into another browser in case your Dropbox is in a different browser window. Here we just need to verify what the local IP address is to authorize access for Dropbox. This is just a security protocol to make sure that you are the one that's actually pairing the system with Dropbox. So I've entered in that same IP address. This is the local IP address. You don't need to worry about any port forwarding or external IP addresses from your internet service provider. It's all the local IP address. So I've entered in that IP address. I'm going to click authorize. Now it's asking again for the username and password for the NVR. Once again, this password can be found on a label on the top of your NVR or on the green pamphlet that should be included with your NVR. So I've entered in the username and password. Now I'm going to click OK. So it says it succeeded in the authorization and it will return to Dropbox automatically within 10 seconds. If it doesn't do so, then you will of course need to go to the address bar and manually type in dropbox.com and it should take you back to your home page for your Dropbox. And in the time that I went ahead and paired and enabled the motion detection cloud recording, we do see here in the video and picture folder, we have pictures and video files from motion detection events. Or I can click on the folder that was created for today's date. And then in the folder that I named camera one. So if you have multiple cameras, you can name those camera one, two, three, or just name where that camera is pointing. And then here in the camera one folder, I have the picture folder and video folder. So I'm going to open the video folder. And then I could click right on this file to open it and play it within Dropbox. So it's going to go ahead and just play this and we can see that these cars moving in the background here are what triggered the motion detection event which caused my NVR to go ahead and sync this file and upload it to my Dropbox account on the cloud and then I am using the free two gigabytes that Dropbox offers to me so this is essentially free cloud backup without any monthly fees to Dropbox and then you could even come over here to the download button if you wanted to download this and store it on your computer and then you can click here as long as you have any sort of media player whether it's the built-in Windows media player or VLC media player to play the file locally on your computer. Hopefully this helps you pair your Security Cameras Inc. NVR with your Dropbox account for free cloud backup. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.